2K Sports checks in with our loyal viewers with a broadcast from Utah, downtown Salt Lake City, Utah, the home of the Jams, Energy Solutions Arena. For the Portland Trailblazers, they come in off a loss to the Grizzlies in Memphis at the FedEx Forum. And that does your confidence, guys, no favor. They got manhandled in that one. It wasn't pretty. And talk about a team that just never seemed to get into a rhythm offensively. It was just a, their presence felt. And of course, with their big lead, they were able to give the bench a lot of run. They've been committing a lot of turnovers, and I imagine that's exactly what they're talking about. Up in the league statistically over the last month. Here's what the Trailblazers did. 19th and assist. Oh, I think we managed to see a review here. It was pretty close. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. Who can certainly beat the bus? And, and they're, they're making sure on this one. Even though it may not matter in the grand scheme, but the replay process is faster than ever. You know, why not? Yeah, the replay center is a call because providing the officials with the necessary footage to make the call. They're seeing what they're seeing with the best possible angle. And they've overturned the call. The replay was conclusive, and that one's going to count. And, and Kevin, an example of why it's good to have replay. I don't know what kind of impact it'll have on the final result, but you always want them to get every call right. We're at the end of the first quarter, and what a blow up already in this one. Utah out in front, opening up a huge gap. The second quarter coming split hill percentage during the past month. In third, the Jazz. And they've had a lot of success at the free throw line converting. These do not get any easier than that one off the steal. Exactly. The defense really no chance to get back. Here's Edwards. That's good. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish with just the bigger guy. He made, it, he, he made it look easy that time. Portland's gone three or six tonight when they play five from downtown. And stolen by Elko. And again, Utah, what a recording transition. And then Miles with the dunk. And that's how to make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, but <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant offense. Yeah, I remember GA as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. Trailblazers have gone just four of eight from the line tonight, hoping to move that free throw percentage up a bit. And as a team, really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. You know, they've really put themselves behind the eight ball in so many of their games because they just have not been able to knock down those foul shots. Outside curve. There's 
the pass to Edwards. Just fine to shoot. Portland needs to get off a shot. They get the rebound. Outside for Curry. They need this. No luck. And it's Utah the other way. And again, it's the jam from deep. Here is Edwards. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. And stolen by Outlaw. And the Jazz pushing it up now. Throws down the breakaway jam. Come on now, young fella. Watch out. You might bring that whole basket down on top of I didn't think he was ever going to let go of the rim. Tell you what, though. You might as well enjoy Yolo, the moment. Make I don't it even last. know anymore. Just what a that even mean, though? If you only live once, why we keep doing the same? Here is Edwards. Covered by Outlaw. We keep being born again and again and again. Edwards with it. They set the pick. Six to shoot. What a clutch shot. He's got nerves of steel. Gotta have big time nerves to hit a shot like that at the buzzer. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. It's the Jazz running away with it. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Energy Solutions Arena in Salt Lake City. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey folks, welcome back. Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Thanks for joining us. A hooked up home crowd is our backdrop for this halftime analysis. Utah finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. And let's go to Kenny. What'd you think of their first half? Well, they went downtown and threw a party. And fortunately, we were all invited. The key is their shooters weren't afraid to pull the trigger on open looks. And it's a blowout right now. Jack, how do you think Portland played? Ernie, they are way too weak defensively in the game. They're getting walked over down low, giving up a ton of points, barbecue chicken everywhere, with the sauce, without the sauce. We're having a Thanksgiving feast in here. That's a recipe for disaster. They cannot keep letting guys drive the lane, layups, lobs. Defense is weak, Ernie. All right, and that'll do it for us here. We now take you back to the second half of our game. Kevin Harlan ready with the call. The most watched in the NBA since the All-Star break. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Ranking-wise in the NBA, fourth in blocks, 18th in steal, and teams opponents for the fewest points this month. Fifth, the Jazz. And they've just been on a defensive tear. I mean, allowing it. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Totally dominate the game in front of any crowd. I keep it 100 while you only keep it 50 down. And Portland making a change here. Willis has checked in. The Jazz shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. I got a competitive nature. Look at them guys when I'm coming. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Uh, now you don't want that late night gas with no break like crash in the daylight. I see it in your face. You don't want that blood, sweat, tears in a bunk bed. And he makes the first. Trailblazers moving his switch here. No good on the second, so he hits one. He'll go to the line. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Jets. And this was one that never really was a guy by Stephen Clark. Uh, can you kind of thought that maybe going out of the game? I certainly did. And they just cracked it open. I'm also made it. I don't think they have anything but positive to talk about. 
take away from this win. Offensively, defensively, every aspect of the game, it all went right for him. Well, folks, that's going to do it for him. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching and standing by for the post-game show. Let's head over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson, the Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith. The 2K Sports post-game show. Listen up, boy, you better all peeves drop it. We already got spring 2015 popping. P and D dropping reps so Kevin, thank you, and now we get a chance to check out our Jordan player of the game. Feel like we paid the refs off. And absolutely astounding and historic night for him here in this game. He was simply unstoppable in what can only be described as a masterful performance. How it was in the past tense. Ask yourself how do we match up now? Cause I'm only 27 and I'm only getting better. If I haven't passed you yet, watch me catch up now for real. He became unstoppable, man. He was up to every single challenge he faced tonight. He was in such control of the ball game. His showcase of his skill set was awesome. And that brings us to the end of our broadcast for this evening. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson saying good night, and we'll see you again soon. But not soon.